Hi my friend how are you i am joey and welcome to joey stick in this video of joey stick we are going to solve staircase problem using dynamic programming now staircase problem is based on one of the most powerful concepts of the world so stay hooked to this video and i'll tell you what that powerful concept of the world is on which staircase problem is based and is a variant of before we begin the problem i urge you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet because that encourages me to produce more such videos on dynamic programming and algorithms and do not forget to hit the bell icon because that way you will get notified whenever i release a new video so now let's begin discussing the problem so staircase problem you have a flight of stairs to climb so you have stairs to climb okay okay there is only one flight nothing wrong about it due to some limitations you can climb at least one stair at a time or at most two stairs at a time that means you can climb only one step at a time or you can jump not more than two steps at a time okay you can't jump three steps at a time okay so if you are standing at ground zero you can either go to stair number 1 or you can directly go to stair number 2 but not more than that not above that the question is in how many ways you can reach the final nth stair okay so let's deep dive into the problem here is a graphical representation of the problem as you can see here we have a flight in front of you there are five steps in this flight of stairs and uh, we need to find out in how many ways we can reach the fifth stair so you can as per the limitations you can either reach fifth stair from stair number 4 or you can reach fifth stair from stair number 3 okay you can't reach stair number fifth from stair number 2 because that's the limitation either one step at a time or two steps at a time so here is the approach that we are going to follow to solve the staircase problem you can reach fifth stair from either stair number 3 or stair number 5 that is what i told you earlier this means that in order to reach n stair now i i am generalizing the problem okay so n is the uh, stair at which we are going to reach which is 5 in our case so you got two options either n minus 1th or n minus 2th that means in order to reach the nth stair okay you can reach from either n minus 1th stair that means from stair number 4 in our case or n minus 2th stair that means stair number 3 in our case we can write the formula to count the total number of ways to reach the nth stair in this way so ways to reach to nth stair is equal to ways to reach n minus 2th stair plus ways to reach to n minus 1th stair okay now this formula actually makes it a classic variant of famous fibonacci series and this was the important popular concept i was talking about okay so now let's see how we can solve it using dynamic programming so here is our framework all right so i have put all the steps numbers in an array we are going to fill this array and this cell over here is going to hold the solution which is 8 in our case the jumps allowed are 1 and 2 now if a question is popping in your head that what happens if we are give, given 3 as well in our options that means we can climb three steps at a time okay i will tell you about it at the end of this video no need to worry okay but let's first finish the base cases so we are going to find out the values of the base cases now let's say if you are standing at ground zero all right so in how many ways can you reach to st step number 1 okay the stair number 1 so it is going to be 1 the common sense states that all right now in how many ways we can reach stair number 2 so it has to be 2 because since we have an option that we can climb two steps at a time so from ground zero we can reach directly here so that is going to be one way or we can reach from 
this step number one so I'm going to put two over here now all I have to do is follow the Fibonacci series so f3 is going to be f3 minus 1 that is going to be 2 plus f3 minus 2 that is going to be 1 so we'll add these two values and we are going to get 3 as the answer at f4 f4 is going to be f4 minus 1 which is f3 that means 3 and f4 minus 2 which is 2 so this is going to be 5 similarly f5 is going to be f4 minus f3 and the values over here in these cells are going to give the sum as 8 okay now since 5 is a very small number let's find out the number of ways okay in which we can reach 5 okay let's write down the number of ways because we can think of them as logically uh, so first way is going to be 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 okay that means one step at a time the next step is going to be 2 comma 2 comma 1 all right okay I'm going to start here because they are of same nature 1 comma 2 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 comma 2 now it's going to change so it's going to be 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 2 okay this means that step 1 step 1 step 1 all right okay then one directly from here okay so I hope you are getting it what I'm trying to do here then 1 comma 2 comma 1 comma 1 then it's going to be 2 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 this means that from ground zero to step number two then one 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 okay and last but not the least is going to be one comma one comma two comma one so there we go we have eight ways okay which we have already thought of logically now we are going to check the algorithm of this solution so here we are at the algorithm fn is going to be fn minus 2 plus fn minus 1 I have told this to you many times already in this video now if you are wondering that what happens when I'm given one more option let's say 3 it is very simple to answer all you have to do that in this algorithm you are going to add fn minus 3 so the algorithm is going to become fn equal to fn minus 3 plus fn minus 2 plus fn minus 1 no need to worry it is very simple the time complexity of this dynamic programming solution of staircase problem is going to be o within braces m into n n is the nth step at which we need to reach that means uh, uh, to reach to that nth stair we need to find the number of ways so that is the nth stair i am talking about and m is the number of options given to us so in this in our case it is going to be two because uh, we have two options one and two so with this we have come to the end of this video i'll see you in the next video of joey's tech goodbye